everyone today we have four new Dollar Tree DIY fall decor pieces for you the Dollar Tree number one is this light up topiary pumpkin these are so easy and fun to do you guys all you will need is these three pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and some Spanish moss now take some hot glue and put the Spanish moss onto your bottom pumpkin but be sure to add a little bit more to the side without the leaf so that they stay flush and aren't like wonky do that with the rest of the pumpkins at the very top add a little bit of moss and a light and you guys that's how quick these are look how pretty this is at night I absolutely love it I could so see these on a Thanksgiving table and then you can give them away as gifts DIY number two is this giving thanks wreath you will need a willow wreath from the Dollar Tree and whatever floral picks that you like. I chose fall colors because, well, this is going to be kind of a Thanksgiving wreath. Now, just cut your picks down and start shoving the stems right down into the wreath. You don't even need a glue gun for this, you guys. It is that easy. I love it. I start at the top and work my way down and I start with the greenery and then go with the flowers. I also will cut a few of the floral picks down so that I can use some of the smaller pieces to kind of fill in those little gaps. Now I wanted to add a little bit more to this wreath so Dollar Tree has these beautiful little pumpkins on a stick and they actually have them in several sizes so I went in and added a few different sizes of those as well. Dollar Tree has these beautiful fall word cutouts and I just took some paint and added a little bit of water to it to make like a faux stain. You guys I absolutely love this faux stain trick. Now taking a piece of burlap ribbon that I knew was wider than the wreath, I just hot glued that giving or give thanks wording right on there. Now I'm taking the wreath and placing it right over the burlap ribbon and then I'm just going to hot glue the wreath down to the burlap ribbon. Then after that I will take my scissors and cut off the excess. And now your beautiful give thanks wreath is done. I think this is absolutely perfect for Thanksgiving and you could hang this or even prop it up against something. You will see how I did that at the end of the video. Dollar Tree DIY number three is this stunning pumpkin topiary centerpiece. You will need two of these orange pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I painted them white and then hot glued them together. Now I am going in with some nautical rope and adding that all the way around the center of the pumpkins. So you only need a little bit of hot glue for this. As you can tell, I used way too much. I just wiped off the excess glue and it was fine. Now you can go in with whatever, whatever, whatever greenery you would like and just push that right down into the top of the pumpkin. Super simple. Now, I also love these pumpkins, like I said earlier, so I'm going to add a few of these as well because I kind of wanted all of these DIYs to kind of go together in a cohesive piece. Dollar Tree has these cute little farmhouse trucks with pumpkins and a sunflower in the back. So I added that to a little bow that I also made with Dollar Tree ribbon and added that to the center of our pumpkins. Using a glass Dollar Tree candle holder, I just added some hot glue and put our pumpkin centerpiece right on top. I love how this turned out. Again, for the Thanksgiving table. Come on guys, how beautiful is this? DIY number four is this Darling Light Up Scarecrow hat. You'll need one of these baskets from the Dollar Tree and you are just going to, with the palm of your hands, kind of push in and down at the same time. And then you can even kind of take your hand and put it on the top of the hat to press it down as well. Now I'm just taking some burlap ribbon and placing that around the brim of the hat right above it. 
using one of my chip brushes from the Dollar Tree, I went in with some burnt umber, apple barrel paint, and dry brushed around the top of the hat and around the brim of the hat. Now I'm just going to take some nautical rope and add that around the bottom of the burlap. Using some of this raffia from the Dollar Tree, I added a little bit of hot glue to the back and around the hat, and I took the raffia and just simply went around the hat and tied it in a double knot, and then I went in and cut off the excess. You guys can leave these however long you want. You do not have to make them short as mine. You can make them shorter if you want. Make it however you guys like. Using some of these pretty sparkly leaves off of a Dollar Tree leaf garland, I just simply hot glue them right behind the raffia. I made a cute little funky bow with some Dollar Tree ribbon and raffia, and I simply put that right onto his hat. Using these cute little Dollar Tree farm trucks, I hot glue that to the center of the bow. Then I wanted this to light up, so I took some Dollar Tree fairy lights and I taped them around the hat first, and then I took my hot glue gun and added the smallest little amount, just enough to kind of keep them held in at least. And it did great. I haven't had any problems. And you guys, look how cute this came out. I cannot wait to try a Frosty the Snowman hat, and I absolutely adore this at night. It is definitely one of my first things I turn on. DIY number five is actually four DIYs in one, and we are going to make some pumpkins using toilet paper. So I know how hard those orange pumpkins can be from the Dollar Tree. All you need is some toilet paper and whatever fabric you would like. Simply unroll your piece of toilet paper or piece of toilet paper, toilet paper roll, and start rolling it back together, but kind of bulking it around the centers. You don't have to do this, but I like the way that it gives that look of a more rounded shape. Then just simply take your fabric and start shoving it down into the toilet paper tube. I mean, look, no one is going to tell that that is toilet paper. Now I just took some cinnamon sticks and added those as my stem and a Dollar Tree leaf burlap leaf and added that in. Now with this one, I took a Dollar Tree scarf and did the same first pumpkin like toilet paper method and I just wanted to show you guys a few different ways you can dress these up. This one I wanted to make a little sparkly so I added a few of the sparkly leaves and pumpkins. So I wanted to make a few sizes of these, so I took a toilet paper roll and an empty toilet paper roll and cut it down and then took some toilet paper and again, build up that center. The more you wrap around, the thicker it will be, so as, make it as thick as you would like. Using some of this Dollar Tree flower sack towel, I cut off a piece about 12 by 12 inches and then I wrapped it around the pumpkin and shoved it down inside the toilet paper hole just like we did with the other ones. Now I'm taking some twine that I made sure was going to be quite longer than what I really needed and that is because you actually do need those and you guys will see why. I wrapped about six or seven of those around and tried to space those evenly apart. Using some Dollar Tree nautical rope, I unfrayed it a little bit just because I wanted to use only one strand. And then I took that and wrapped it around the base of the stem. And you are just going to start wrapping that around those strands and wrapping tighter as you get to the top. Add glue as you go. And then once you get to the final top and you cut your excess off, Add a little bit more glue again and then make sure you have your little Dollar Tree finger protectors on and then just twist that stem one more time. I absolutely love these stems. I think they are so like natural looking and rustic. I, they're my favorite stem to make, that's for sure. 
then I just added a few little burlap leaves and a twine bow. How cute, you guys. So for this next one, I did the exact same toilet paper method as the last one and a mop. Yes, a mop. Shove that black part right down into the toilet paper tube. Roll your flip your toilet paper roll over then pull your strands up cut up the excess and just tuck those right down in there add a stick from your yard and a little bow whatever you would like and you guys look how cute all these pumpkins turned out and they actually all pretty much go together i love them love them love them and they were so easy to make and you don't have to have those freaking orange pumpkins that are so hard to find from dollar tree I really hope you guys enjoyed these Dollar Tree DIYs. As always, leave in the comments what DIY is your favorite and you could possibly win that DIY. Thank you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe.